face the savage. What's going on guys, it is your boy TechGodRachit and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be covering Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, the, whatever was covered in the multiplayer reveal event, um, just my initial impressions and basically a summary of what they talked about in that 45 minutes of epic livestream. So unbelievably guys I managed to get some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay in the background for you guys. So. Thank you Charlie Intel for the gameplay, really appreciate it, the channel has loads of gameplays for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so go check them out, drop them a sub. So thanks again Charlie Intel for the gameplay and let's get straight into it. So starting off with the exosuit, now the exosuit comes with certain abilities as standard like the boost jump, boost dodge, boost slide etc and you have certain abilities which you can customize in the creator class loadout. Now the boost dodge is going to add a whole new level of verticality to this game and revolutionize Call of Duty. Now this is what separates this game from all the other Call of Duties and really interested to see how people adapt their playstyles to these new features. Boost dodge allows you to go behind a piece of cover, probably going to be used defensively to get behind a piece of cover and come back. Boost slide and all this adds a whole new level of flu fluidity to the game which I am really looking forward to play and by the looks of it this is probably going to be the most fast paced Call of Duty we've ever played because of these new features. Then you have certain additional exosuit abilities like the exo clo cloak and um, an ability which allows you to increase your movement speed in addition to the perk lightweight also. So that these abilities are balanced by a battery now if this battery runs out you can no longer use the ability. I guess you can use this ability once a life so that is going to be it's going to be interesting to see how people you know strategically use these abilities to their advantage you have the boost the hover ability which allows you to hover in mid air for a few seconds now that in my opinion is not the best ability just because it makes you vulnerable or uh, you know for, for people you're, you're an easy target in mid air to shoot um, so you can couple all these standard abilities with these special exosuit abilities you know depending on what your playstyle is and really destroy your opponent now that is done with the exosuit and its abilities now that is probably one of the most important parts of this call of duty and really excited to see how they integrate these new movement features and abilities with the controls now we don't want to compromise on our traditional controls we've had since begin since the beginning and these controls are what we know and love and are really comfortable with it so excited to see how sledgehammer integrates these new movement features without compromising on the controls coming to weapon customization you have 35 weapons in all with 10 different varieties for each weapon that makes it about 350 total weapons to choose from and in my opinion that is going to be pretty fun and this is going to increase the lifespan of the game people will probably never get bored with, with because so many weapons to use so many different attachments and so many different customization options you're probably gonna nev never gonna get bored and the way you unlock these weapon varieties is through supply drops which you get by playing more so you increase your game time as well as your performance I guess and you get uh, weapon loot so that gives you different varieties of weapons so each variety is different in terms of damage um, range accuracy as compared to the original variety so that is going to be pretty interesting how they balance it out and make sure that no weapon is stronger in one aspect and, and remains the same as the other so that is going to be pretty interesting and really excited to see how people use this coming to customizable score streaks now score streaks are integrated in the pick 13 system for advanced warfare and if you choose to remove a score streak, you could use that point for a perk or an, or an attachment for a weapon. And I think that's amazing. So people like me who like to run and gun more often and want less score streaks could maybe sacrifice one score streak for a perk or an attachment. So that is great. Also, you can customize the way your score streak behaves. If you, so, For example, if you want to uh, make your UAV last for a longer time, you could add 150 points to it. For example, if the UAV is 300 points to earn, it would make it 450 points by adding it the customizable options. So it's more like a risk reward thing. If you can get the highest score stick, maybe make it better. 
but if you're happy with the stock score streak and want to get it at a lower score kills so maybe you could not customize it as much so that is customizable score streak a thing unique to advanced warfare and i'm really excited for now this game seems really inspired by black ops 2 in terms of the pick 13 system which is a modified version of the pick 10 system as well as the medals you guys are seeing on screen uh, for the kill streaks so bloodthirsty for 5 merciless for 10 or uh, ruthless for 15 etc etc also the maps design is really similar to that those of black ops 2 with a two lane kind of uh, linear map design which is a fan favorite everyone liked those so i guess they're back uh, and no one liked the big random asymmetrical maps in call of duty ghost so i feel linear maps much better with three lanes so three definite lanes so that is great um also the medals as i said before the bloodthirsty merciless etc right now in this build kill streak kills also count towards them in black ops 2 it was only gun kills and there was something to go for like the kem which, which was the nuclear medal but in this case the kill streak kills are counting towards this but bear in mind that this is not the final build of call of duty advanced warfare there's going to be a lot of changes added to this so i hope that they make it only gun kills will be something to go for Another thing, which a bad thing which I don't want to see in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is supply drops being monetized. Now, if Call of Duty decides to charge people for supply drops, it's going to be more of a pay to win situation because you get way more weapons and that is a path which I don't want to see Call of Duty going down and I'd be really disappointed if it happened. Now, panic knifing is not bad guys. I'm so happy about that. The knife system is similar to what it was in Black Ops 2, so you can't lunge as far as you would in Ghost, so that is really, I'm really happy for that. So no more panic knifing, no more raging because of someone pressing their knife button without even looking at you and then destroying you. So that is awesome, but sometimes panic, uh, the knife being so bad is pissing off also because you'll have knife fights where you just keep missing and like Black Ops 2 which would be pretty funny, but... Anyway, glad it's balanced out like that. And also, one bad thing is IED type stuff is back. Now, they, basically, these are modified to follow you around a corner, but it's balanced so that um, it's like walking speed. And with all the new movement features, you could easily boost jump to avoid it. So that is a plus point. So that is it, guys, for my initial impressions about what was covered in the multiplayer reveal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully i condensed it well into one summary of uh, probably a five minute video so i hope you guys enjoyed this is just my you know initial impressions and just a summary rough summary of what was covered in the reveal trailer so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy and if you felt this was helpful please leave a like down below and subscribe for more great call of duty advanced warfare as well as ghost content so i'll see you guys in my next video